Christmas is a celebration not according to scriptures. Christians in the Bible never celebrated Jesus' birthday, neither did Jesus tell them to. And it's not even recorded what day it was. What makes it so negative is because people are associating. They say Jesus' birthday with lies about a fat man going up and down millions of chimneys and telling lies about flying reindeer. Because we love God and His truth we want to speak out in defense of His truth. Jesus did not come into the world for a birthday party. It's a day of mockery. The people of the world have changed the reason why Jesus came into the world. Jesus came into the world to give people the chance to get the bad spirit out of them. That spirit is Satan. That's one of the principal things that Jesus did when he was in the world. Casting devils out of people. In Acts 26 18 it speaks about people being converted, to open their eyes, and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God. The religions of this world do not teach people that they were born under the power of Satan. All they want to teach people is to love one another. If you loved God you would be against this day of mockery. When you watch TV there is nothing about Jesus. All it is is a fat man coming down a chimney. It's another way for the devil to change the truth of God into lies. Jesus is not interested in a party. He's more concerned about people getting the devil out of them and to believe in his word. It's a shame that human beings live on God's earth and do not even know God's name and they believe in all kinds of religions. God only set up one true religion, not thousands. If you want to hear more, tune in tomorrow for a continuation of this truth. There are going to be some people who hate what is being spoken. They hated Jesus for what he said to the point where they wanted to crucify him. But Jesus wants his word spoken whether people will believe or disbelieve. So on the judgment day people will have no excuse to say they didn't know. Those who hear this message have an obligation to tell their friends and relatives and enemies. It's like being in a house on fire. You have an obligation to tell the people who are asleep. The people of this world are asleep. Tell your friends. Society of Prophets